What is up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video. And today we're going to be talking about the Coaster Builder in Planet Coaster 2. Now obviously this game is not confirmed yet, but it is very likely to come out uh, this year in November is what we're hoping for. If you've seen a lot of my Planet Coaster 2 speculation videos, um, especially my last one, um, you'll know that uh, it's very very all signs are pointing towards the game uh coming out this year in november around november so hopefully uh we'll see if that does actually happen if you don't believe that it's going to happen that's fine but um i'm just going to do some speculation and uh, a little bit of what i would love to see in the coaster builder to make it the best coaster builder of all time now a lot of people don't like planet coasters coaster builder the way it is and i think it is a great coaster builder honestly it's actually one of the best ones out there in my opinion uh when it comes to um to have that happy medium between casual gamer and advanced gamer now you got to remember that we have to include the casual gamers as well if we just put in a node-based system that's really complicated and hard to use and takes and has a learning curve um it's gonna keep the casual gamers away which we don't want we want to keep those in there because obviously it'll drive more sales if the casual gamers can play the game easily so um you need to have that happy medium of in between i think planet coaster one did that very beautifully however i think there's a lot of improvements that the coaster builder can um receive to make it a better game much better game for the more hardcore gamers that they can just add a few things here and there and it would make it perfect so um, obviously I like the piece by piece building the way it is and I don't think that should change. That's going to stay the same and I think it will stay the same. Um, one thing that they can add and I know everyone's going to be talking about this is obviously the heart lining. Uh, having a, a dedicated heart lining system to where um, when you do make your turns and your uh, transitions and stuff and on all that, that it does keep that heart lining. So if you want to do a heart line roll, um, it is not the hardest thing in the world and you don't have to do a one meter piece method to get a perfect roll uh, in the game there's other ways you can do it as well um but i think the probably the best way is the one meter four meter method to get the perfect shaping um but then you have all these small uh small uh pieces in your tracks uh track pieces that doesn't look good in my opinion so um, that is the first thing is add a heart lining system uh, when you smooth out the ride that it doesn't get rid of your heart lining stuff like that just have natural heart lining in the game and I think that would be perfect uh, for smoothing wise and just like just make it better like make it to where heart lining is the primor primary thing it just makes it look so much better more realistic and just visually looks uh, you know heart lining just visually looks satisfying to watch honestly so uh, when you have that coaster heart lining um some coasters and that have the option to turn it on and off like makes that an option because not all coasters have heart lining um uh, all the modern coasters really do but like if you want to make like an older coaster have the option to turn it off um so like some of those aero co old aero coasters wood coasters and stuff like that we can make those classics still without the heart line make it an option to turn on and off like just in the settings like heart lining check on heart lining check off uh just literally one of those things like that would be the best thing to do uh for that regard so another thing is custom spine options i've briefly talked about this before as well um for instance like if you have a bnm and being able to change the different spine type like a thickness like a small medium and large thickness would be great that way, if you're making it, building a Giga Coaster, you can actually have thicker spines uh, for your coaster, and it makes more sense. And B&M has thicker spines than what Planet Coaster has. It would be more realistic in, in general to have thicker spines. They did kind of do a little bit of this in Planet Coaster 1 with some of the coaster types having op optional spine options, and I would love to see that throughout most of the, or most of the track types, um, if not all of them. Uh, to where we can do that so i think that would be a huge deal and everything just to uh, allow more customization and the track spines and make it look visually better or different uh so that's one thing and then uh, the next thing i want to talk about is coasters or the train design so obviously planet coaster has set trains in the uh coaster builder that you can only choose one type like i mean they have it to where you can switch uh, trains out a little bit but 
they will only have like one type of train to choose from that goes with that spe specific track that you're selecting. So um, I would like uh, something like, uh, you know, I, I like to pull examples from other games here. And uh, I just want to talk about Endor Lands, which has a train, different trains options. You can actually ha select the different theme of your train, which is actually a really cool feature that I think Planet Coaster should implement. Um, being able to select what kind of theme we could have like a steampunk theme. We could have um, a fantasy theme. We can have different things. And then, of course, you have a plane theme. So like a plane theme that doesn't have any theming. Um, if you want to keep it non-themed, you know, so obviously I have, I, I think the basics should be on no theme and then you can go into the customization options and change the customization of the train. And then I think it would also be an added bonus if they would allow custom images as well to be placed on the front of the car or even, even the side of the car as well, but at least the front of the car where you can import like a PNG image and be able to like put a coaster logo. Like if you want to design your own coaster logo, put it on there. And this is all advanced options that you don't have to do, but like it'd be awesome if I could create a logo for my coaster and actually have it on the front of the train or just have my park logo on there as well. I think that'd be actually really neat. And then if we want to go really advanced, have a custom coaster builder, something like along the lines of Theme Park Studio, um, I, but a lot better, obviously. Theme Park Studio has a custom train editor, train builder, where you can actually create custom trains. Um, I think it'd be cool to give us a lot of pieces and parts that we could put in, like uh, the wheel, chass wheel chassis, the wheel assembly and everything and then you go from there go into pick what seats you want and everything like that so if i wanted to make like a custom b&m train um say like i want to have you know a b&m train with the old seats or with the old over the shoulder restraints or have vest restraints like be able to choose between those two um basically just by building my own coaster train so like that would be kind of a neat option because then i could like choose if i want to have vest restraints or the old school over the shoulder restraints for bnms or just in general for any of the coasters i think that'd be really really cool or you'd be able to create some weird contraption of your coaster you know you could have some crazy spinning coaster or something um but that's what i would love to see from the train aspect and also be able to color different trains so like if i have three trains i want to be able to customize all three of them so if i have a so i can have like a red train a blue train a green train um which is something you could do in the older roller coaster tycoon games so that would also be a great option to have as well and then the last thing i want to talk about the coaster builder is the custom support system now planet coaster did supply us with a uh, a whole selection of different custom supports that we could build piece by piece. Um, I want us to keep that in there. I think it'd be a great idea to keep those in there. However, to uh, another great option, this is something that Theme Park Studio had, uh, is to be able to have like a set of different uh, support types, different support pre-built structures, and be able to click on where we want those supports on the uh the track itself so kind of like in theme park studio you select this type of support click it on this track and it would automatically add it so that way we can really customize um and it could save us a lot of time for like support structure and for wood coasters you could actually have like different sections like have wide supports have thin supports like different selections of auto generated supports that we could put in there as well so that's what i would love to see with the support system i think it'd be really really nice just taking these ideas from like um using these ideas that a lot of these other games have but it wasn't well executed that plenty i feel like frontier could well execute these features into the game because these other games aren't the greatest at it you know like theme park studio has a train builder and the support feature i i mentioned but you know they're not the best out there you know they could definitely be better and i think planet coaster could do it way better than that um so i think these if you add these features into it which in all honesty, I think all of these features would be able to be in there. Uh, and then one last bonus thing I wanna talk about is catwalks. So obviously, towards the end of Planet Coaster's life, a lot of the newer, uh, the new, uh, the Copperhead Strike Coaster allowed us to uh, have catwalks on either the right side, left side, or both, allow us to do that on all of the rides. I was actually very disappointed that they did not add that for every, uh, uh, coaster type in the game and they only allowed it on uh, Copperhead Strike so 
that's my last uh, idea. And then I think the catwalk should just get a graphical update that looks a little bit better um, because I think uh, in reality, you can create better ones just from like uh, theme makers toolkit and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think that is going to about do it for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if I missed anything that you guys want to see in the coaster builder. Um, I think if you add these few things into the coaster builder, which I think is very doable by Frontier, honestly, I think it would be the best roller coaster builder in the uh, <laughs> ever. You know, I think it'd be the best coaster builder of all time. And uh, you still have that gap between um, you still have the happy medium between advanced builders and casual builders. And it would work perfect. You know, you just give us those few options and everything would be perfect. So I hope Frontier you uh, I hope Frontier does listen to us and I hope that maybe sometimes they pop into my videos maybe. And if you guys are, I hope you guys are considering some of these features uh, a decent amount at least. Um, I'm not saying all of them have to be in there, but I would definitely like a good chunk of those features into Planet Coaster and I think it'd be a great idea. Um, even if you want to throw it into a DLC, I'd be willing to pay money for DLC for like a custom train builder. Like that'd be awesome. But I think the themed different themed trains that have like little presets are good for the casual gamers. So like if you're a casual gamer, you don't have to customize your own train, have those presets in there already. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Uh, make sure you have a great day and cool tomorrow and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much and goodbye.